A guitar instructor that works with a child has to be enthusiastic. They have to have energy that can keep up with the child, and they have to know enough about both guitar and teaching to approach the subject matter in a way that the child stays interested. A lot of guitar instructors are going to do a cookie cutter kind of, you must learn this and then this and then this approach uh, to teaching even with children, and it just is not the best way to go. An instructor's got to be able to hit things from a bunch of different angles, uh, try this, and now play this song, and now you know, use this information in this new way and make a game out of it this way. So uh, an instructor really has to be able to not only know the material, but be able to apply it and approach it in uh, a number of different ways, in a number of different settings if possible. One of the most important things for students is going to be learning experientially. So of course they're playing the guitar, so you think, well, it's always experiential. Well, that's not always what the experience of music is. Um, if you think about the setting of a lesson, uh, the one-on-one -on -one guitar lesson, you know, maybe in the back of a music store with kind of a college student who learned enough guitar to make some money teaching it, is not necessarily the best environment for your child to learn in. In fact, it's not a very realistic situation at all. Music, and guitar in particular, you rarely see it performed solo. Really, if you can find an instructor that does something like group lessons, something where the student gets an opportunity to play the guitar, but play with other people and meet other people who are playing who are maybe at the same level or just at a level above so that information can be passed around and the, and the pedagogy isn't just linear and it isn't just one-on-one -on -one in a studio with a teacher, but it's actually in a dynamic setting full of other people so they feel like they're part of something. That is the best way to go. And there are teachers, uh, I'm one of them, but there are plenty of teachers who approach things in these numbers of different ways, including group lessons, and so on. So when you find an instructor you're interested in, and you speak to them, how do you know if they're the right fit? What should you say? What should you ask? Well, here's a few questions you should ask the instructor. The first question to ask is how much experience do they have? Teaching guitar is really its own skill. So the first couple of years, even I taught, um, there was a lot of trial and error, and don't forget you're paying for this, and what's at stake is potential lifelong passion for your child. So you really want to make sure you find somebody who's been through that trial and error phase, and now they know what works, they're comfortable in lessons, they're comfortable with children, and they're comfortable with you, the parent. Another question I ask an instructor when you speak to them on the phone is, you know, what is the way that you're going to teach my child? Because if they can answer it, there's a good chance that they don't know what they're doing. Because the fact is, you have to see the child, and you have to sit down in a lesson and get to know their personality to really know the best way to proceed in, in pre presenting information in a way that, that's going to be palatable and interesting to the child. So if a teacher tries to profess to know the best way, the linear way that I'm going to teach them this and then this and then this, then it's, it's a good chance that they are going from cookie cutter mode and it's not necessarily going to individually custom tailor to your child in a way that your child is going to be able to maintain interest. Another question I would definitely recommend asking your teacher is what kind of learning environment they offer. If it's a one-on-one -on -one in a guitar studio, I don't know if that's going to be the best thing for your student when there are teachers who have things like group lessons and recording and other options that your child can uh, take advantage of to learn in different settings. We really all, some people are visual, some people are audio, some people are kinesthetic, and it's the same kind of thing with learning the guitar. Some people can do it in a one-on-one -on -one vacuum situation, but really one of the most motivating things about playing the guitar is playing with other people and creating a group sound, being part of a group, being part of a community. So if you can find a teacher that not only teaches in a studio, but makes these other things available, that's really going to be the best thing for your child. Another great thing to find in a teacher is someone who's technologically savvy. With what email and websites and video and audio recording, especially recording software when are talking about music, can bring to lessons is just immeasurably valuable, especially with children who are so technologically savvy. So make sure you find a teacher who has a way of integrating all these things to make the teaching something that's very current and very exciting for the child. A big pitfall for parents who are looking for instruction for their children is basing their decision on the wrong thing. And there's really three things that I think would be the wrong thing to base your decision on. Here's why price would never play into my decision making with my child's guitar instructor. 
I've probably already bought a guitar. Maybe you've already bought a guitar for your child. My child may have already had other interests that only became fleeting interests. I certainly don't want to have made an investment like I did in purchasing a guitar, only to have my child give up to have this turn into another fleeting interest. What I would really like is for my child to take this instrument and to make it a lifelong passion, to learn it and to keep playing it. Through teenage years, it can be a social thing, and through adulthood, it can be the thing that helps them unwind at the end of a day, or they might continue to perform, or the self-esteem benefits of performing, or of playing for friends, or even playing at parties, are just huge. So the value that comes from the right instructor turning what could have been a fleeting interest into a passion, into something that the student really takes into the rest of their life, it's just pivotal to make sure that you get the right teacher and the value that that teacher brings shouldn't be boiled down to just a few bucks extra a half hour or whatever it is. So my recommendation is don't base your decision only on price. Similarly, I wouldn't let location rule out an instructor either. Honestly, the, the instructor who provides the most value and gets my child the most excited turns my investment in the guitar and in the lessons into something that I was really looking for for my child, which is a hobby and a lifelong passion. That instructor's worth another five, ten minutes driving, or whatever it is. So, again, I, I would recommend consider the value and make the investment. If it's just a little more, make the investment for the benefit of your child and for this um, hobby. Lastly, and this doesn't come up as much with the parents of children, but you do not want to just get sucked into who's the best guitar player. Who's the best guitar player in the state? Because I want my child to learn from them. Well, the fact is, someone who is very, very good at guitar is somebody who can spend many, many hours alone playing the guitar, and those aren't always the most enthusiastic, social kind of people that re relate the best with children. So keep in mind, you want to have a good guitar player teach your child because they know a lot about the instrument. But really, you want to have somebody who understands teaching, understands children, is fun, is enthusiastic, um, is used to working with groups and with other people, and can maybe expose your child to the same. These are going to be the best things for turning this into a fully integrated interest for your child that really carries forward with them into the rest of their life. So getting caught up in the best guitar player might not be the best thing for you to do as a parent in terms of seeing through your investment in these lessons for your child. It's just so great that you're taking the time to inform yourself before making this decision. I wish you the best in finding an instructor for your child. Again, guitar can be a lifelong passion that brings fruit for the rest of your child's life. It's an investment of yours, and you want to make sure to invest wisely. So thank you for listening, and I wish you the best.